ultralight area of Air Venture Oshkosh, my favorite part of this show. I love all the other airplanes, but I really love the stuff down here. So I'm glad to be coming down here and talking. My name is Dan Johnson. This is Dennis Long. And you know what, Dennis? I have known this airplane for a long time. I've even been over to Ukraine, where it originates from, and flown with Yuri Yakovlev, who designed the airplane. And it's been here in the U.S. for a while, and it is a special light sport aircraft, I'm aware. But you're a new name associated with it, to my knowledge. I so am. tell me a little bit about what you've done to uh, be part of this organization now. Well, I've flown an A-20 for many years, and you know the A-20. Oh, I love like the A-20, that. yeah. And I just didn't think the plane would be promoted properly, or shown off enough, or shared. So I thought I'd get a hold of the factory guy. So I talked to Yuri and the crew over there about two years ago. We started talking to him about me being a dealer. Well, in the meantime, they were moving production to Poland, which made them fit the ASTM reciprocal agreement. Right, right, yeah. And they can't really do it out of Ukraine, and they're very aware of all of that. A bunch of capable engineers, but, you know, they were where they were, so they had to do that. And it is done now. So now I am the dealer. We got it all through the SLSA certification. All new information, it's all manufacturer's name now is Aerocrack Manufacturing. Okay. So that those guys are proud of the work they do, so now they can get credit for it all. Let's talk about flying qualities, because okay. that's what people really want to know about. Now, it's a side-by-side, -side. it's got these giant clear panels in here, it's like flying an helicopter. Tell us a little bit about it. Then. But it's a stall speed of 35. Cruise speed on miles this one, hour 35 miles an 35 hour. 35 miles an hour, so only about 30 knots. 30 knots. Uh, air speed, cruise air speed with this one at max RPM on the Rotax 912s, which are available on all three, 80, the 100, or the fuel injected. Okay. With the bare wheels like this, it's right at 101, 102, legitimate. Okay. If you have wheel pants, it's about five mile an hour faster. Okay. But it's a stole plane, stole ops. Uh, depending on the wind and weather conditions, 100 feet to 400 feet cut off roll. <laughs> Yeah, that's, that's pretty short takeoff and landing. I was demonstrating it yesterday or two days ago with that headwind down here, and I was under 100 several times. Is that right? Excellent, excellent. Now, uh, tell us a little bit about the control system, because this one, most of most of the aircraft in this space down here, for that matter, on the other side of the field, uh, usually a little wiggly stick in front of you. This is a little different than that, so tell us about it. This one, this particular airplane has a yoke, just like a typical Cessna or Piper uh, or Cherokee or whatever you're used to flying. So transition for gentlemen are used to that are good. It also has a, a standard side stick available, which is similar to the Zenith. Okay. So you either configuration. I'm going to do the airplanes build to order. So whatever options you want, if you want it plain and simple, you want it loaded up. But we're going to go made to order with options. You got parachute, side stick, yoke, mud guards, wheel pants, glass panel, six pack gauges, whatever you want. I'm not going to say I know what you want. I'm going to let you choose what you want. And the manufacturer now, being the folks, uh, the Aerofrac, but now with their fully uh, fully based facility, they can they can do it however you decide to order because they are the manufacturer now. Correct. You're the U.S. representative. You're not the manufacturer. I am actually part of the factory team. Right? Ah, okay. You are. Well, they actually have to include you in on that yes. so, because they're going to send it over here with the wings off or folded or however. And when it's and an SLSA, it has to say control the factory until it is sold. Right. So I I am part of the You have to be team. on their books then and whatnot. So I'm a quality and that's man. a detail people probably don't care too much about. But they, what they do need to know is that what they're getting from you here now is a totally legit, everything above board Absolutely. operation. Absolutely. There's no confusion like there may have been in the past. And there's nine, oh, oh, almost 900 of them flying around the world, only 35 in the U.S. So I hope to change that. I'll bet you will, actually. Now, the handling quality is something on the back. Let's talk about moment. that. Please do. This is one of the light sport airplanes, and I've flown a lot of the home built experimental type light sport. This is one you can be flying along in any condition. If you've got it trimmed out flat and level, let go of it, it's going to go back to that condition. Its turbulence is not you're not sitting there trying to keep it upright. It'll rock around and come right back straight. Pretty user friendly for uh, a fairly new pilot then? Incredible. So yeah. It is, uh, since it's a light airplane, of course it's light on the controls, but you want that on a lightweight airplane that can move around. You want to be able to get it back quick. Agile, we like it's to call agile. it. Agile, that's a perfect word for it. And that's what's impressing a lot of people that have flown with me in the last couple of months. And it's an excellent airplane for flight schools. The width of the cabin is wider than a 172. Uh, I had a guy in this morning that's bigger than his 206. Is that right? Wow. Well, it's the one thing that we can say about most of the light sports, and of course this uh, A22 is uh, just like that, um, is that because they only can go a certain speed limit, and because there's no other constraints on it, they can go ahead and make it a nice wide cockpit. And Americans, uh, we enjoy our hamburger now and again, so we need a little more space in it. 
but you've also got kind of a bubble door on it. I'm seated right here where I can see that, and that gives you a lot of elbow room inside the airplane as well, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Uh, I've had guys sit in there, and they're, they're not even touching shoulders on the inside, and they've got, they're, they're just, they get in, they all, they all say, wow, because they got so much room. There's also an optional sliding window, a oh, photo there? door available. Okay, cool. That's another option that's also available. Very fun. Can't do that legally, of course, take pictures for hire, but you can certainly take them for fun. Absolutely. And uh, it's a great airplane to do that out of. It I've very seen much it is. flown with that kind of configuration. It can be flying without the doors also. It cannot be flown with the doors open, but it can be flown with the doors you can, just, can you pull them off? Uh, how, how much effort is it to get the it's doors just, off? There's a lift cylinder on the bottom. You just pop the end off, and there's two pins at the top. While you're holding the door, you just slide both of them out, and the doors are so A few minutes. One man, a minute or two. <laughs> And in some summer flying like this, that would be really nice. I would, I'm an old ultra light guy, so I love the idea of a little wind flowing through the cabin. So, uh, where, first of all, where are you located in the country, Dennis? I'm located just outside of Memphis, Tennessee. Memphis, Tennessee, all right. So uh, pretty central to the whole country. And you're going to represent the whole country for now, at least. Uh, for now, at least. And that gives you an opportunity to be uh, very price effective, I know. It's always been a reasonably priced airplane right now because uh, these things are sold to you in European currency called the Euro, but because the exchange rate is quite favorable now, you could probably offer a good price. Now, folks, when we talk about price, we always caution you. These videos last a long time. You're gonna to wanna to check with Dennis on the website we give you later. But for now, what kind of number have you gonna be need to get out of this airplane here? I have one sold already. Uh, he fully loaded it, glass panel, parachute, photo doors and we were able to keep it at 79 200. Is that right? So fully loaded, less than 80 grand. Again, that's today, that could change. Uh, so you'll want to check with Dennis and find out. But that business about airplanes are too expensive, well, not really. Not a, That's not a big number for an awful lot of people out there that are shopping for it. And I'm doing what I can to, to, to lower the price. If it forces the other guys to, that's great. But while it is it now, the price is going to float with the euro. If the euro goes up, price goes up. Understood, right. But if the euro comes down, my price comes down. That's right. So you could have that advantage. And right now, you can be at that good number, partly because the euro is a, a little low to the dollar these days. It is days. very so, good right now. So that's a, that's an excellent number. Okay, so uh, if I said, man, that, that, that's a really good deal. All right, load me one up under $80,000 today's prices. Uh, how long would it take before I could get one, Dennis? 90 to 120 days. Okay, that's a pretty good number. So you're going to go over uh, what people can choose. Tell me how that works. I say, okay, fine. Let's let's start the deal. What what happens then? Well, I have an option sheet. I'm setting it up. It's like an Excel spreadsheet. You go down at the top. Here's your base price of the airplane. Here's this option, that option at the bottom. It totals it up at the bottom, and then we convert it to euro. If you say, hey, that's I still can't afford that, well then we'll see what you can do. We'll try and get you into the plane. And the registration of ELSA or SLC. If it's ELSA, let's get you in a plane you can afford now. You can upgrade the panel later, like a lot of people do. Right, okay. But it allows you to at least see what's available. Uh, make a great club plane, it will make an extremely good trainer. Uh, They're used in a lot of European flight schools, I know. Very much. And it's also available in a glider tow package for up to 700 kilogram gliders. Is that right? Cool. That's one of the options. So, and I've also. I've got a flight school out I'm working to make a big order right now. So. All right, good. Well, good luck with that. To me, the the, me, the reimagined 150, this is really it because you can fit two good-sized Americans in it and not have to take fuel out of the airplane. And you can't actually do that in a 150. I used to own a couple of 150s in my distant past, right. and even my wife said, we're kind of a little cozy in here. Now, she likes me, but she still <laughs> said that. So in this one, she'd have gone, fine, I like this. So I bet you a lot of people will. Then I said, a lot of good information. Thank you for giving it to us. Where can we find you on the web and get even more information and maybe place that order? Okay, the, the website address is www.aerofractusa.com. All right, excellent stuff. And I've done some flying and reported on the airplane. You can find all that and lots more affordable aviation at bydanjohnson.com. Thanks for joining Dennis Long and myself here in the Ultralight area of Air Venture Thank you very much.